Hey guys! Today's video is all about guinea pigs and swimming. Sometimes you will stumble upon videos or social media posts where people put their guinea pigs in a swimming pool or a bathtub. Even popular social media sites will pick up these images to make a quick buck, usually with a heading that reads similar to this is the cutest thing you'll ever see or look at these adorable rodents learning how to swim. This is, in fact, not the cutest thing you'll ever see, nor is it adorable. Guinea pigs should never be made to swim and I thought I'd go into more detail and explain why. Number one, they feel like they're drowning. Yes, guinea pigs can swim, meaning they can stay over water to keep from drowning as a survival instinct. However, this does not mean that they like doing that or that they would do it voluntarily. They swim to survive and it's not natural for them. So they try their best to keep their heads out of the water, which to us can look like swimming. They are related to capybaras, who do enjoy taking a bath, but they're still a completely different animal and do not share all of the same characteristics and behaviors. Size is the very obvious sign that they're very different animals from capybaras. They have no chance of getting out. Putting a guinea pig in a bathtub or a swimming pool, even if it's a kid's swimming pool, makes it impossible for them to escape the situation. They can't pull themselves out of a pool or a bathtub and the slick surface doesn't help either. So they're stuck and they will paddle for life. That creates a really unfair and awful situation for them as they are at their human's mercy and can only hope that someone takes pity on them and helps them escape the water. They can get sick. Guinea pigs shouldn't be completely submerged in water as it dries out their skin and they can catch a cold. It's also a ton of stress for them as they wouldn't take a bath in nature so they're more likely to develop a fungal infection or mites. Dry skin is also more at risk for not being able to successfully defend against mites which always live on a guinea pig, even on healthy ones. Once a guinea pig's immune system is weak or the skin is way too dry, mites multiply and that's when it becomes a problem. It takes the skin up to a couple of weeks to return to its natural state. And since even bathing already dries out their skin, you can only imagine what swimming does to a guinea pig's skin. Desperately trying to survive would put anyone in an extreme emotional state and create a lot of stress. Guinea pigs don't deal well with extreme stress and could have a heart attack or heart failure shortly after. What can you do? What you can do on a hot day is provide a small, not deep at all bowl or rather more like a plate type kind of thing, fill it with a tiny bit of water and offer it to your guinea pigs during floor time or in their cage. Don't make them use it, just offer it and if they like to put their front paws in, they can do that and if they don't, they can just ignore it. These were a few reasons why making guinea pigs swim is a really horrible idea and hopefully this will stop being a social media trend. Or at least when someone googles this, videos will pop up that tell you that guinea pigs shouldn't swim. I hope you enjoyed this video, I had to make it before summer ends and see you guys next time! Bye!